So this reading is for Aries. And we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, and Capricorn. These signs may be relevant. <clears throat> they may not be. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I didn't feel like I needed to do that until I turned on the camera. Anyway, it looks as if Aries or the cross watcher here took a leap of faith in an attempt to deceive. There was a tower moment, which means like a sudden unexpected change could have been some sort of blow up or something like that. Anyway, so you took this leap of faith to deceive and it blew up in your face. Now, you're trying to pretend to not have guilt about a choice. You're telling people that you chose to soul surge and wait and that you were devastated. But the reason you said this was to throw them off of the scent that you were heavily bound or codependent on being left out in the cold because you manipulated a soul search and waited. Now, you know, either way, the whole point is that you were not devastated and soul searching and, and that kind of thing. That was the social part. That was the mask. The truth was that you wanted to be left out in the cold because of manipulation. For some of you, because of intuition about somebody having addictions, codependencies, or toxic, beha toxic behaviors, you were left out in the cold in order to manipulate. Either way. It could be anything like that. I do see paranoia. I do see the scheming energy going on. I also see where someone here actually manipulated this tower moment and now they're pretending they didn't manipulate it. <clears throat> I just feel like you lied to someone. It's this, I mean, you know, just say this is a relationship for not everybody is this going to be like a romantic relationship, but maybe, you know, if this were a romantic relationship, you're like, you know, I waited so long and I was hopeful for you and I didn't want to move on, you know, but you really did. It's kind of that false face kind of thing, which Aries is not known for. But that's what's showing up. Yeah, that's basically what I'm seeing. I'm seeing where you're soul searching and waiting to make a commitment at work regarding a settlement apology because of a proposal of wish fulfillment. You're afraid to make a choice and you're stuck hiding it because of a family or a marriage. For some of you, this could have to do with 
family members and their sexuality. That's just for some of you. For others, there may be somebody here that hid that they were a family member at work. But it looks like somebody here may be reuniting to apologize about a proposal. But I'm going to say... You didn't make the choice you needed to make or someone around you didn't make the choice they needed to make about a settlement apology, right? And they played Prince Charming until they got wish fulfillment. Now they're afraid to make a choice. They're stuck hiding this. Like I said, could have something to do with family or marriage and also passionate behaviors. That can be romantic, but it can just be um, aggressive behaviors as well. I also see here that you were dogged on not making a choice to reunite in order to keep an inheritance stuck or a settlement stuck. It also looks like a soul search apology was hidden. Whatever that means. And you were waiting. But it looks like. Um, this is so weird. I'm seeing where. There was an underhanded thing. Where. Basically, family made a commitment for somebody to get away with something and to get wish fulfillment at work, whatever that means. I don't know. It can go so many different ways because the story will be different for many of you. I feel like for some of you, like there's some dirty little secret that you have here. That until it was cleared up, you were not going to do the right thing for someone else. That's the feeling that I get. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. If this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.